Sturgeon cornered, map showing how SNP's plan to rejoin EU could tear nation apart, Nicola Sturgeon risks tearing an independent Scotland apart if she automatically applies to rejoin the EU without calling for a referendum, a map detailing the strength of the Brexit vote across the nation suggests. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said she has no plans to call a separate referendum on whether an independent Scotland should join the European Union, she said a detailed prospectus would be put to Scots ahead of any second independence referendum, and she claimed most people would want to be part of the EU again. She was pressed on the issue as she launched the SNP manifesto for May's Holyrood election at the end of April, Ms Sturgeon, that's not my policy just as in 2014 when people had a detailed prospectus on which to base their vote, that is my intention for a future independence referendum too, she insisted the case for independence is winning hearts and minds across Scotland almost every single day, in a surprising turn of events, though, a few weeks later, Mike Russell, the Scottish Constitution Secretary, disputed Miss Sturgeon's claims, insisting it would depend on the circumstances at the time whether to hold such a vote. He also claimed it could be desirable to ask Scots about rejoining the EU. Mr Russell, who is also SNP president, said his personal view was it was not necessary but there are circumstances in which you could say it would be desirable. A map detailing the strength of the 2016's Remain Leave vote across the nation suggests Ms Sturgeon could indeed risk split her country apart if she does not hold a referendum on the issue. While every council in Scotland saw Remain majorities five years ago, the split varied greatly. Murray voted Remain by a 50.1% margin, it had the biggest percentage for leave out of all the Scottish council areas and the narrowest margin of victory for either side anywhere in the UK, Aberdeenshire, Angus, Eileen Shear and the Highland also saw a significant number of people voting leave, 45%, 44.7%, 44.8% and 44% respectively.